Hey everyone, Cody from Mac Telecom Networks. A lot of people have asked me what I think about the new UDM Pro Special Edition. So I thought rather than commenting to all the questions, I would just make a short video. First off, we're not allowed to talk about any devices that are in early access. It's like Fight Club. The first rule of Fight Club is we don't talk about Fight Club, and that's the same with Ubiquiti Early Access. But since they post this publicly, we could talk about what they posted in their video. Chris from Crosstalk also did a great video about the new UDM SE and his thoughts about it. I suggest you checking that out. So the first thing and the best thing I think with the new UDM Pro SE is the PoE ports. We have eight one gigabit PoE ports, not PoE plus or PoE plus plus. So you'd be able to plug some cameras into this, an access point, and maybe a phone. I know a lot of people are wondering why they didn't go with PoE++ so that we could put Unify Access on this as well. But if you have Unify Access, you probably have another 24 port or 48 port PoE switch with PoE++ that you could use Unify Access for. For me, this will be great to use as an NVR for a small business or a house. Now you have eight PoE ports that you could plug cameras into. And for the price point, I think it's pretty good. Next up, we have the new 128 gigabit SSD that's going to be installed in the UDM Pro SE. I'm not sure what this is going to be used for, but if it's for the network controllers, this will probably make them a little quicker and hopefully we won't have any freezing issues with the controller. Another big improvement is the 2.5 gigabit ethernet WAN connection. Nowadays, we're seeing more internet ISP connections offering higher than gigabit speed, so this is a great addition. I know a lot of people are wondering why they didn't put 2.5 interfaces for the eight PoE ports. As of right now, Ubiquiti doesn't have any access points that are capable of 2.5 gigabits per second, and we may see that in the future. For our CPU, it's the exact same CPU that's in the UDM Pro, so nothing has changed there. And that's pretty much it for the Unified Dream Machine Pro Special Edition. I know a lot of people have probably just picked up a new UDM Pro and are angry that the UDM Pro Special Edition came out. But that's like any new technology. You look at Apple iPhones, they come out once a year. Ubiquity needs to keep innovating to make products better. Every one of us will end up one day buying something and then they'll announce a new product the next day. That's just what happens. I'll have a lot more videos on the Unify Dream Machine Pro Special Edition when it comes out to general public. I don't currently have one, but once I do get it, I'll do a review video. If you have any questions about this video, please leave it in the comments below. If you're new here, please subscribe and hit the bell icon. All right, thanks.